Eddie Craywick, the defending pro stock motorcycle champion, trying to do it again. And you see right there, by winning the race and Hector losing in round one. That's the way Eddie Craywick wins this championship. And the defending Pro Stock Motorcycle champ, Eddie Kraywick, strapping his helmet on, getting ready to face Steve Johnson in his first round matchup. He'll be moving up and uh, get putting his game face on right now to get ready for this matchup. But I do want to tell you guys, he's got the right lane. He has lane choice here. He says the reason that they want to maintain lane choice is because neither of the Screaming Eagle bikes have gotten off of that left lane. If it goes straight and smooth, he should run a 92. Mikey's looking for 108 in the first 60 feet. That's always key for the Pro Stock Motorcycles. That's 60 foot time. Eddie Craywick, he's up on the line, ready to go. We spoke to him earlier. Eddie, on Saturday, you told us that you'd have to have a lot of good luck today. Hector would have to have a lot of bad luck. So do you have any good luck charms on you? Absolutely, I do. You know, we've had good luck all season. I, I don't plan on it stopping now. You know, Harley Davidson, Screaming Eagle, Vance and Hines, everybody's standing behind us. You know, we have a lot of fans, a lot of supporters out here. I'm out here signing autographs over at our T-shirt trailer, trying to wear out that number one in case I don't get it back. But, uh, you know, I'm just going to go out there and race my race. Whatever happens, happens. There's no, uh, there's no certain way that the chips can fall that are going to fail favor me right now in the position that I'm in, except for a first round loss for Hector. But I don't wish him any bad luck or anything. I just hope we both go out there and have a safe race and whatever happens, happens. You know, it, it's it was a great season for me no matter what. And uh, by no way do I regret anything. And he'll have Steve Johnson in the first round. On the line right now, Eddie Craywick. This is a must win. Hector Arana, helmet on, ready to go. Watch it. keeps it alive 695 194 miles an hour taking down Steve Johnson and keeping those hopes alive let's go to John Kernan and with a happy Matt Hines and Matt you guys have done your part now it could come down to you might need a national record if you keep going with whatever Hector does is there a national record out there for the bikes yeah there's no record uh, we got to be going 80s this round for sure and uh, you know we want to have a good bike we want to be able to at least win the race if we can win the championship. We'll see what happens here in a couple minutes. Thank you very much. And this thing rattled the tire off. <laughs> yeah, he said it rattled the tires big time off of the starting line. His uh, 60 foot was 111. Remember, he was looking for a 108, so he was off just a little bit. Well, now it gets interesting for Eddie Craywick as he does the last minute check on his bike after bringing it down because there he is, Hector Arana. He has been powerful. He uh, did have some problems coming here, had to swap out a motor at the last moment, but the new one has really given him quite a ride. And not only has he overcome that problem here this week, and remember, he lost Louis Lubliner, his right-hand guy, midway through this countdown, just up and left him, so he's had a little extra work, but he said that's helped him with his focus, focusing off of this championship, focusing on this bike, doing what it takes to put himself in the position he's in right now. Over on the other side, that's Bailey Whitaker, first year of racing in pro stock motorcycle. You know, the one thing about Hector Rana, I think he's really, really improved just from the beginning of the season until now. He is much more focused on the line. Pro stock motorcycle, remember, they're the easiest mo class to go up there and red light on because the bikes rack so quickly. So you've got to be careful, but you don't want to be too careful that you're just dead late and give it away. Good light, buddy. Wow. Look at him fly. He nails the three, runs a 691-192, low ET of the race. Forrest Lucas says that's just fine. Well, so Hector takes the win, and we show you the points. Eddie Trewick, 62 back, Gary. Well, Eddie Krawick, it, it would take almost a miracle now, a national record. I don't think that's out there today. Your thoughts about how you carry on from here? Oh, we still had a good year. This Screaming Eagle, Vance and Hines, Harley Davidson team, you know, had a, had a great season. We won a lot of races. Andrew now is uh, locked up the third place spot, and I've uh, locked up the second place spot. So we're going to come into next year two and three. I mean, I'm not counting anything short, but there's definitely not national record potential out here or anything. You know, hats off to Hector. He's done a great job all year. You know, I, I'd, I'd be the first to walk over and shake his hand and 
if you hold my bike, I will. But, uh, you know, he's, 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 he's done an excellent job, and hats off to him. I'm holding the bike. There it is. Good job, man. Good job. You earned it. You earned it. Smile. Smile. Come on, smile. <laughs> I'm guessing he doesn't quite believe it yet. Thank you. Good hey, job, maybe, maybe he's thinking, oh, he's setting me up. He's going to run that national record. Still not official, but Craywick kind of declared it.